Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. My name is Rebecca Ravenbird and today I am doing a fall and Halloween shopping spree. So we are basically, I've basically hoarded as many resources as I could. So starting off with our autumn tokens, we are going to start off with some stuff from Larry here in the event shop. So a few things that I have wanted for a while. So uh, I've wanted, um, let's see, the witch cauldron here. So this one with like the, the neon green i think that one is really cool and then i've thought about getting a scarecrow hat i don't know if i should get a scarecrow hat but i've also wanted like this witch hat but the problem is it's robux so we're starting off basically with just the witch cauldron for one and one thousand one hundred uh and then that leaves us with uh quite a few uh autumn tokens left still so then what we're gonna do is take a look at this witch room here. I think this witch room is nice, so we're gonna grab this one as well. Oh, and then also too, I should mention that you guys are gonna get to meet my alt account uh, today. So my alt account is holding a bunch of accessories because I don't have much space as you can see. Uh, so let's see, we have the witch broom as well as the witch cauldron. So like the default ones. So anyways, uh, let's go back here just really quick and double check we don't want anything else. So all of the accessories are just so cute. I really like them. I don't know if I should get the scarecrow hat. It is cheap, but I don't know if I should. I do want like other scarecrow hats as well as witch hats, but like, it's this one specifically that I really want, but I just can't get it because I don't have Robux. So, we are going to spend the rest of our Autumn Tokens on getting as many keys as we can here. So, we can afford up to 100 at a time so far, so let's buy those. Oh, wow, that was a lot. Okay, let's see how many Autumn Tokens I have left. Okay, so I have 4,000. So, let's keep buying as many as we can. It says up to 36 more. Okay. So that is our autumn token haul here. Uh, so let's see how many uh, autumn keys do we have now? We have 141 maple keys. So we're gonna now go trade the maple keys. And then uh, actually what we need to do is we need to uh, put, give the maple keys. We're gonna give the maple keys to my alt account. And then also the apples. I don't think I have the apples in my inventory. Oh, I do have the apples. So we have this many apples. So almost 300, 3000 apples, I should say. And, uh, ooh, you know what? I can groom this horse really quick. Let's see if it'll give me up to 125 autumn tokens. No, it gave me 124. Okay, well, it's pretty easy to just go get, like, one more autumn token if I just, like, harvest this tree right here. But basically, I can get one more autumn key um, just from 129 autumn tokens now. So that'll be helpful. Especially since, like, the, the golden maple chest is, um, you need, what is it, three keys per transaction. So, let's go grab one more maple key. And there we go. Okay, so we now have, in terms of maple keys, we have 142. Okay, so that should get us decently far. So we're going to give the maple keys as well as the apples to my alt account. Um, I'm not doing the souls just because I'm not really... I don't have a lot of souls. I think I have... Let's see how many souls I have, actually. So I have... Where are my souls? I have 65. So that's decent, but it's not going to get me too far. But we're going to go ahead and meet up with my alt account right now and give the resources to my alt account. And then uh, we'll start redeeming all of that stuff on the alt account. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, everybody. So this is my alt account. This is Beckbird2005. And uh, this is actually the username I use on Minecraft. So we're going to go ahead and begin the trade. And let's see, what do we need? We need to give you the maple keys and the uh we're gonna give you the souls i think as well yes we have to give you the souls and then we have to also give you all of these apples and we'll go ahead and accept and then in this next clip we're actually going to switch the recording to my alt account and we'll get the accessories from the alt account 
Okay, so here we are on the alt account now. So the first thing, as you can see, I have like quite a bit of space. So whatever we get from any of the, the redemption from all of this stuff, um, it will be very interesting. So I think let's go... Uh, I think we can start off with the apples. Let's start off with the apples because we have the most of those. And then the resources, we have 142 and then 65. So we'll go in order of um, most to least. So therefore, apples, golden keys, then souls. So in terms of the apple basket, it would be lovely to get a golden apple Frisian or... Yeah, I think it's the golden apple Frisian with horns. Some people were saying the gapple Frisian was a glitch horse or like a bugged horse, like the horns are not supposed to be on a gapple. But I have seen pictures in the Discord server, the unofficial Wild Horse Islands Discord server, that people have had them. So it would be so cool if I could grab one and then I can just like trade for whatever. Okay, so 2,000 apples, right? We have 2,000, almost 3,000 apples here. So we'll be going for a while. And uh, let's just see how we do. Starting off with a bunch of golden apples here. If we get under 10 golden apple horses, <laughs> I'm gonna be kind of sad. And then it's just like a, all the rest of them are just regular golden apples. I would love to get like 10 more golden apples. Oh look, an Andalusian, that's cool. Um, I don't particularly like the overcast fade or anything, but hey, we got a golden apple horse, so there we go. Um, and I actually do have a golden apple Andalusian with the overcast fade on my main account. So hopefully I can get rid of those some ways, shape or form. I don't know if I want to try selling them or keeping them for trading purposes or just, you know, giving them away for free to people. Um, I think like the low tier golden apples, maybe I can give those. Okay, Fjord horse. Okay, golden Fjord. That is pretty nice. Okay, how are we doing on our apple count? Ooh, we're actually still pretty good. I thought we would deplete a little faster than that. And I know some YouTubers have gotten pretty lucky as well with the golden apple trades. So let's continue on here. I'll just speed up the video at this point until we get something good. One thing I kind of wish would be would be helpful is if somewhere on the screen it would put a counter of how many apples you have in your inventory so like maybe right here it tells you oh 2500 apples left or something and then the number changes as you keep exchanging i think that would be really helpful that way you don't have to open your inventory and then look again so we're already down at 1800 apples at this point so we might not get any okay we got a paint horse i okay i do have ooh, an appaloosa I did get an Arabian on my main account, but I've not gotten, I don't think, a Percheron or a Clydesdale, which I know people are really looking for. So hopefully we can get it. Let's just keep going here. Okay, cute little fjord. It has the pumpkin spice uh, latte fade. So I do like that. I do have an Andalusian with the pumpkin spice fade. So it doesn't look quite as good on the Fjord. I don't know why. I think it's because the Fjord is a naturally short mane and tail versus the Andalusian is naturally longer. So you get to see the fade more. Quarter horse, my goodness. Paint horse. Okay, well, we don't have enough apples anymore, so that was pretty unlucky in terms of <laughs> 142 golden apples. And then, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven. <laughs> I think what I can do is I can maybe quickly harvest a tree for like two more. Um, actually, no, I can't. Never mind. Okay. I was gonna say I could get uh, two more apples by harvesting a tree, but I would be there for a while because I can get the leaves faster than I can get the apples. If I just bought two more apples, I probably actually could. So let me see if I can just buy out the rest of my apples 
uh, with my regular tokens here, and then we'll see if we can come back and get anything else. Um, yeah, these apples, this last set of apples that I have, I have 33 apples now. This is going to be my last set of 20 just because I'm out of money. Um, uh, actually, you know what? We could probably sell these and get some more money and we can get more apples. So actually, let me do that really quick and then we'll come back and do, I guess, our last round of apples for sure. So selling all of those golden apples gave me 5,000 tokens, so that is very helpful. Like I said, let's just max out 100. Okay, can I buy any more? Yep, six. Okay, so now, let's see. We now have back to 139 apples. So I think that'll be a couple of more rounds of um, apple trading. And then I'm really, really hoping we can get... Um, Wait a minute, wait, why does it say I can afford... Can I not afford more? Yeah, a hundred. Huh, it was really weird. It was saying, is there like a buying cooldown or something? Yeah, I have a, I have a ton of money. What the heck? There must be like a buying cooldown or something. That way you can't just like, you know, get so many at a time or something. So that is new. I've never seen that before, but uh, we're getting a ton more apples. So that's very helpful. Okay, let's just continue buying apples and then we'll go back and do the, uh, do the whole shebang again. Yeah, so the last four, before I run out of money. Okay, so now <laughs> we're back down to seven. So we have 743. You know, we might be able to just keep buying, like, apples. Like, we keep getting golden apples, and then we keep buying regular apples. So, um, that is something that'll extend this video a little bit. But I'm actually excited for that, because I forgot you can sell the golden apples. I didn't think it would take this long for the golden apple stuff. But... Hopefully, it's at least interesting for you guys to see- Whoa! I've never seen fjords or any horses spawn in like that! That was insane! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Round two. 700 or so golden apple- I mean, regular apples. And with my luck, probably we're not gonna get it. Appaloosa. I think I got a golden apple teak. I'm not sure if I have one I made or not, but yeah, it's really, I have the one Arabian apple, and then I just need a Clydesdale, and I think I have a golden apple as well, and that's kind of there in the, in the tier rounds and stuff. Okay, here we go, continue my sword. And illusion with a bright autumn fade. So it's funny, I actually traded for one of these horses and now I just got it by myself. So if I had just waited, I guess I could have gotten that on my own. Okay, so here we are. This is the final two batches of golden apples. Fingers crossed for something good on this last set of 20. Ah, oh, rip. Okay, well, in that case, let's take a look at our golden apple horse haul here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten exactly. So uh, that's what I said in the beginning of the video. If we can get ten golden apple horses, I mean, it's something, but at the same time, I wish it was more, and I wish it was some higher tiers. I think the best two are probably these two Andalusians. Um, I don't know if I want to swap this one with the one that I currently have in my main account or not, but these... Th these are all gonna go somehow. I don't know if, like I said, if I'm gonna sell them or trade them or what, but they are going to go. I don't like the rest of them. I only like the Golden Andalusians. So, moving on. Um... Every time I've come through the corn maze, um, I've been able to find um, a couple of golden keys. So we're going to go now do the golden maple keys and then we'll move on to the souls. Here we are at the maple chest. I do not need any of the things here. Uh, so I don't need an overcast Appaloosa. I already have a bunch of those and I think I do have a pure one. Don't need a Latte Fjord. Uh, don't need an Equinox Arabian, though it would be very nice if I were able to get one. I don't think I'd be able to get one anyways, just because it's so far along here. And then the Toadstool hat, not a huge fan of. So we're just honestly looking for any accessories that we- Oh, an oil lantern! A pearl oil lantern! I think that'll go for a good chunk of money. Um, or, you know, whatever. Okay, face pins, don't like those. Another face pin, a paper crown, I don't- uh, I'm not gonna wear the paper crowns. 
Mushroom spores, people buy those, so I can put that in my shop. Another acorn hat, I already have one of those. Pumpkin seed, I will keep those. Basket of apples, I do already have one of those as well. Head bow, not a fan of the shape of it. Um, I do have a squirrel plush already on my main account. Hoof trails, ooh, I might keep those for sure, because I do have a horse that has, um, like my my one fjord that I have on my main account could use those, um, these, uh, what are they called? Hoof trails. Maple leaves aura, peachy, autumn orange, and yellow. That's an interesting combination. Pumpkin halter, don't need that. Mushroom spores again. And another halter, don't need that. Another halter, another halter, another halter. <laughs> Bell boots, I don't need those. So, oh, my first scarecrow hat. Okay, well, oh, wait a minute. Oh my god, it's prismatic. Ooh, that's gonna go for a, a good chunk. Okay, I'm not a fan of the autumn shades. Don't want those. Another face pin. How many, how many of these do I have left? What the heck? Wait a minute. Uh, resources, seven, seven, okay. Toadstools, I'll keep those, because I use the toadstools to help with training, to get a little faster in training. Another halter, okay, saddle pad. I, I'm not really a fan of like the, um, of the, the patterned, like, tack accessories stuff, so I don't know. Okay, squirrel plush, I don't mind the brown, but I'm not gonna keep it, because I like the red one better. Halter, tailbow, don't like that tailbow. A, a pumpkin pie toy, those are cute. Ooh, an oil lantern. This is neon purple? That can get me some stuff. Another acorn hat. Two acorn hats in a row. Oh, okay. So we got the overcast. I don't want the overcast. Another apple basket. Uh, halter. Pumpkin pie toy. Caramel apple toy. Ooh, I, you know what? I might actually keep this one because it's like a pure one. And uh, I think I need some horses with a uh, maple leaf aura. Ooh, another scarecrow hat. Okay, that's pretty cool. Another apple basket. Caramel apple toy. Another apple basket. Pumpkin. Got a couple of clear quartz stuff. That's pretty neat. More pumpkin seeds. Thank you. Take those. Acorn hat. Halter. Halter. And I am out. Okay, so that is it on the... Uh, the fall accessories here. So we got a lot of halters. Let's see. Good chunk of stuff. So I think really the nicest things that I'm probably going to keep is like this one. And then this one. These oil lanterns for trading purposes. Hoof trails. I'll keep those. And keeping these for trading purposes as well. Otherwise I'm going to be like selling all of this stuff just in my market. Uh, okay. Last but not least, we are going to trade in the souls. So the souls, um, not going to get me too far, but you know, we'll just see what happens. So here we are at the cauldron. So here, I don't need anything from here really either. Uh, the jack-o'-lantern and, jack and the illusion. That's actually kind of hard to say. Um, I don't really need this one. I don't need the graveyard mustang. The werewolf ears are cute, but I don't need those. The fiend Frisian, that would be really nice to have, but um, we won't be able to get anywhere with the current amount of souls that we have. So um, yeah, let's just see what we get. So how many does it take? It takes 15? Okay, it takes 15 at a time. Ooh, I got a witch cauldron. Oh, it's a peach one, isn't that cute? Okay, well, let's continue. Skull halter, okay, so like an orangey one. Polo wraps. I don't need these. I know they would go nicely with the, like, I guess the jack-o'-lantern and delusion, but I don't need those. I don't really like the pattern, um, pattern polo wraps or tack. Ooh, purple Frankenstein bolts. That's pretty cool. Okay, so that is it then on the souls, because then I only have nine left. Um, okay, so at this point, let's take a look. So we got the witch cauldron, the peach witch cauldron. And then we got um, this, pretty much, <laughs> and the Frankenstein bolts. But yeah, that is my little shopping spree for the end of Halloween and fall. So the lesson that I learned from doing this event is to hoard the resources, not the horses. So what I mean by that is on my main account, I actually have a lot of the event horses from trying to get them with the autumn tokens instead of getting them for Robux and then trying to use the horses to trade for what I want. But 
There are like a whole bunch of low tiers and they're not pure mane and tail or anything like that. So that left me with a lot of inventory space being taken up where I could have just saved for maybe one or two or three different resources and use those to trade for what I really want. That way, again, my inventory space doesn't get taken up and then I don't have to waste my time looking for those horses instead focusing on getting the resources, hoarding those, and then using the resources to trade up for what I want. So all of these items, except for the ones that I said that I wanted to keep, are going to be pretty much put up for sale or given away or put in my market or whatever, just so I can get rid of them. But if you want any of these items, please let me know in the comments and I'll try to keep those on hold for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know as well in the comments, what is your favorite Halloween or fall accessory from 2023? Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everybody!